Hello there, sword friends. Today I'm going to tell you about this baby sword right here. This is a medium sized farmer's knife from Lands Connect Emporium, and that's not the name of it. It has a different name, and I can't remember what it is, and I couldn't say it when I went to look it up, is the other bit. But I will put that in the description down below, as well as in the title of the video. And if you're interested in dimensions or prices or any of that kind of stuff, uh, it'll be in the description down below. Price is actually worth mentioning this uh, with the little uh, scabbard or sheath that comes with the adornment on it, which I'll show you, was around about 200 euro, a little bit less with that but you can get it i think for around 150 euro if you just want the 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 baby sword anyway i will admit when i first got this i wasn't impressed and i didn't really like it i was kind of this is out of all the lands connect emporium pieces that sword friend ian sent me incidentally thank you sword friend ian for sending me the lands connect emporium pieces so that i can take a look at them and evaluate them and uh, review them and all that kind of stuff and uh, of them though this was the one i think kind of gave me the most pause and that i was least least entertained with and spending some time with it fortunately <laughs> through sword friends sword friend ian's generosity i've gotten a chance to do that um i really actually have come to to like it there are parts of it that i don't like though and the the first thing that i think threw me off was the the crudeness of it and so lands connect emporium all the pieces have this handmade aesthetic to it, it there's not an attempt to spend too much time on beautification or you know, refining every detail or to make everything perfectly symmetrical or to clean up every hammer mark or every pit or every every small little nuanced problem. They're, they're not going for that. And so you can call that the medieval aesthetic. You can call it crude. It'll bother some people and it will energize and some people like it. And I don't necessarily mind it, but I do find it less appealing in a knife. They're smaller and I guess I'm more used to the, the detail work being sorted out in knives than I am uh, in swords and swords I can find it for some reason more forgivable or more easy to tolerate than I can in a knife and here that's what kind of threw me off but over time I've grown to <laughs> to really really actually like the way it feels and I've liked it as a kind of a compliment to a sword. Swordsman Ian had this done up for a left-handed use and when I hold it in my left hand I think I prefer it to a main gauche. Um, the nagel could be a little bigger. You might want more hand protection if that was, if you know, if a fencing dagger or a paring dagger was what you were after. But this is a substantial piece, and I really feel like it has the mass movement, curvature, all that kind of stuff that I would want in a parrying dagger. And I, I really have come to like it for a left handed use. So having it with the nagel on the left hand um, shows me how not dexterous I am in my left hand, but has really. Uh, well, suffice to say, I like it. I've said that enough times. So, do I think it were? Do I think it's worth it? You know, short answer is yes, I do. But you got to look past some of the aesthetic things, and the fit and feel of it is really quite nice. And I will hope to, I will, I will hopefully show you that in in the video. Anyway, if I look over some of the bits and bobs here. Um, there is that kind of rough and tumble aesthetic. I'm going to stop talking about it because if you like it or don't like it, you at least know about it by this point. Uh, but if I go to the grip, there's not exactly a pommel per se, but there's a lot of dimension in this grip here. And it's, it's worth pointing out. It's narrow up at the top. It swells out down at the bottom. It has this hook similar to a lot of the pieces that Messers have. It has these hollow pegs, these hollow tubes that you could attach a lanyard or something like that through. And then there's a little bit of dimension this way as well. It does swell slightly towards the end and it gives it this very solid feeling in your hand. I'm holding it right-handed now, but either way, um, it doesn't feel like anyone's gonna be able to take this to pull it out of my hand. And there's a finger well up here. So if I'm choking up and, and I'm stabbing into something, it doesn't, you know, it's a little narrow for me. It could be fatter. My fat fingers tend to, to bite in, but it, the edges are tamfered or chamfered in such a way that it doesn't cause me any great deal of pain or anything like that. Uh, as are these little hooks down at the end on the nagel over here. Uh, nothing bites into my hand exactly, though it is maybe a little bit tight. It could be a little, well, a little bigger for my, my fat hands. Uh, as it is, though, it's a very comfortable grip. I don't have any problems. I'm not able to hit it with anything with really enough authority to have it kind of bruise my hand like some of the other uh, other the other messer that I had did, the Gunter, uh, kind of rode into the fat of my hand. I don't have the same problem with this one, but I'm not impacting things as much as I, as I was with that sword. Uh, so as it is, though, you have some dimension to the handle, and I happen to, to really like the way it rests and fits in my hand. Uh, I could say that this finger well could be a little bit bigger. That That's going to be different depending on the user, right? Um, you can see that it's made with a full tang, and then these scales are put on, the hollow tubes are put in, uh, and then it looks like the these uh, metal side scales, if you will, are kind of nailed on and go through 
the the blade at various points and then are kind of pinched together so this is where I think things do get a little bit cruder than I might like. There's rough tool marks at the ends, little imperfections that I don't really like the look of, but it does fit along the profile of the knife well. The nagel is fit in. We have kind of the hammer marks and stuff, and I can get my fingernail on them, you know, but at the same time, if I brush my hand across it or something like that, nothing bites in, nothing cuts me. There's just more gaps, more holes, more tool marks, and I, I said I wasn't going to talk about it, but in this section right here, this kind of where the... The bolster would be where this finger well is, where the nagel's hammered on. Uh, that looks the most clumsy to me out of any point. The, the scales and the rest of it and the tool marks and things like that, uh, I think, are, are more forgivable. This is, is more of an eyesore than the rest. Anyway, then we get on to this profile of the knife, and I really, really like the profile of this, of this knife. It's reasonably sharp, though it could certainly be sharper Has a false edge, which isn't particularly sharp either, uh, but just this sweeping curve right here it makes me think that if I were able to get an opponent's sword to trap, I could move it and this, this curve would aid in that motion. Uh, otherwise, as it is, the point lines up with my wrist. I feel like it's pretty easy to thrust. It's big and imposing and scary looking. It has enough mass to butcher, to cut through bone or something like that if you were doing it. And a, you know, a fine enough point that I could do some, some, some work with it uh, if I was trying to, though it's not small enough to do like whittling or anything like that. Uh, but as a, as a tool, I think it's very functional. I haven't batoned or done any of the knife related things with it. I did cut a few water bottles and things like that and it held up and it showed me again how not dexterous I am using my left hand for any kind of refinement work. I'm obviously very, very right hand dominant. Uh, the planes of the blade, it's reasonably smooth. Um, out of all the lens connecting point pieces that I have, this profile, probably due to its size and ease of grinding, is, is the smoothest. Though there are some ripples, maybe from heat treats, some small, uh, some small pockets and things like that. Though Sword for Ian made no apologies for these not being safe queens. He uses the knives. This is a used knife, and if it's been used and and uh, and whatnot, and he's you know cut things with it or potentially tried sharpening it. I wouldn't take the surface of this and any kind of scratches or things like that to be uh, what you would expect to, from Lance Connect Emporium. Again, Sir Van Ian said he uses this quite a bit or uses his pieces, and so uh, keep that context keep that context in mind. As it is, a knife with some wear and character to it, I really happen to like the way it looks, I like the way it feels, and it's really grown on me. I'm still not a fan of some of the aesthetic, as I've noted, but in terms of shape, I do like it. If I were to, to ask for one, it would be uh, one thing, it'd be to make this little little finger well maybe a little bit bigger for my dumb hands, or maybe to have different sizes, but if I avoid that section and keep it kind of further down the bottom, it's a very, very comfortable knife to hold. If I put my thumb up on different spaces around it, even if I hold it, the left-handed nagel piece I can get my thumb over the top of it and it gives me a, a different sense of dexterity though obviously uh, you know thumb would be thumb would be at risk but I, I feel like I have a different type of control over the knife by being able to get my thumb on one side in terms of being protected not quite you can see that my knuckles come over this so I'm not sure how much protection it's it's offering me but it's certainly more than more than none anyway the knife I really like it uh, at least in terms of dynamics and the large imposing size, I think the shape and the weight of it are really good. If I could ask for anything, it would be to improve that kind of bolster section in the finger well area. Uh, that would be that would be my take, but a person with smaller hands or, or different aesthetic tastes would maybe uh, tell you something completely different. As it is, I really like the way it looks and I like the way it swings around. I do want to take a moment to talk about this scabbard though, because or scabbard sheath, this leather sheath. So. I thought that the shape of this was dumb, and I didn't think I would like it, so I hung it on my belt next to something with a more conventional secure sheath, uh, a cold steel SRK, and I was playing around with both of them, and I strapped them both to my belt. I don't normally walk around that way, but I wanted to feel what it was like in direct contrast to another another item, and I swung swords around, and I walked around my yard, and I set up my cameras, and I kept them on my belt while I was outside. This was very easy. It didn't fall. It didn't tip. It didn't fall out at any point. It's very, very loose, so the, the scabbard, it's not secure at all, and as it's on your belt, I thought maybe it's going to bounce around, but just the way it sits and how how it holds onto my belt, I had absolutely no problem with it coming loose. It never felt unsecure. It never felt like it was wavering or tipping or wobbling out, despite doing sword-related activities with it, just by cutting with it, despite being not terribly active. You can see by my, by my gut, I'm not particularly active at the moment. But in terms of general usage, I had no problems with it holding in and, and staying uh, secure in the, in, the, in the sheath. And this simple belt loop right here did the job, and it was really, it was very comfortable. I didn't even notice it was there. 
So uh, great job on, on the scabbard. I thought I would have more to bitch about there. I did not in terms of wearing it around. It was very comfortable. If you get one that's dull or it's for garb or something like that, I think that might be an important piece for you to note that it's it's a, actually a pretty comfortable and secure thing. As long as you keep it on your hip, obviously if you bend forward and you turn it upside down, it will fall out, but I had no problems with that happening uh, based on how it hangs generally and just putting it on my belt where a person I think normally wears a belt. Anyway, uh, the scabbard, same aesthetic thing, same things that you might gripe about, but I do think that this skeleton motif here, which incidentally I think they charge about a $50 premium for, is awesome. I really like the way it looks, and it's, it's rough, but it's rough in all the right ways. I really like how it came out. I think it's cool as hell, and it's one of my favorite facets of, of this particular leather work, and something that I encourage you to maybe have done on other Lands Connect Emporium pieces. I, I For whatever reason, the the... I don't know how, how they've laid it out, uh, how they've raised the leather, the little details on here, I think are, are really, really cool, different. And it, it kind of leans into the crudeness, if you will. And I don't mean to keep harping on it, but in this case, I think it actually works well. To me, aesthetically, I think that this is a handsome and, uh, and fun detail to have on the, on, the, on the sheath. And again, I didn't expect to like it. We've got stitching along the back, uh, two knots that allow you to maybe adjust the size of this leather hoop or replace it should you choose. Uh, the stitching looks nice, but this this decoration on the on the back of it looks, or on the front of it that faces out, to me just looks really really cool and is one of the highlights of of this of this uh, <laughs> this particular piece. Altogether, I think it just it makes a, a very very handsome uh, handsome knife, and it's it's cool looking on your belt. I like the decoration. I like the way it feels. Obviously, I've talked about some of the things that I would improve, but. Um, Overall, it really, really grew on me, and I didn't expect it to. I thought I would have some negative, poopy things to say about it. And while I've got some criticisms, you know, and it's going to be similar criticisms on a lot of the Lands Connect Emporium pieces, because there's aesthetic little things that maybe I would like them to pay more attention to. But as it is, dynamically, it's got the right amount of heft. It's got the right shape. It feels really good in my hand, and I'm, I'm glad that the Sword from Dian did it left-handed, because it... I like it. I like it a lot. I like the way it feels and is like a potential pairing. Like, well, I talked about it already. Anyway, I'm just making giddy noises into the microphone at this point. I really like it for the cost. It's not a cheap thing, um, but hopefully you have a better idea of what it's going to do for you or not do for you as it is. It gets, you know, a thumbs up from me. Anyway, that's all I've got. Thanks again to Sword for Nian for lending me your Lands Connect Emporium stuff. Hopefully the video has been interesting. As always, cheers and thanks for watching.